Hello everyone, this is Debasis Misra. Today we will discuss frequently asked interview question based on superposition theorem. So in the first question, in superposition theorem, when we consider the outcome of voltage source, all other voltage sources are. When we consider a voltage source, another voltage source will be short circuit that we have already discussed in my previous video. So answer will be A that will be short circuit. Remember voltage source always short circuit and current source always one circuit. The next question in superposition theorem when we consider the outcome of one current source all other voltage sources are voltage source means short circuit. So answer will be A. In superposition theorem when we consider the outcome of one voltage source, all other current sources are current sources means open circuit. So answer will be B open circuit. In superposition theorem, when we consider the outcome of current source, all other current sources are open circuit. Current source means open circuit voltage source means short circuit remember this point so answer will be b find the value of vx considering 16 volt source so there is a 16 volt source is there 3 ampere current source is there 10 volt is there 15 ampere is there question is arises when you will consider the 16 volt source you will consider the 16 volt source at that time 10 volt source will be short circuit, 3 ampere will be open circuit, 15 ampere will be open circuit. So that means remaining 16 volt, 20 ohm and 80 ohm. So here 20 ohm and 80 ohm are in series. So we will apply voltage division rule. So voltage division rule means 16 volt into same resistance is 20 divided by 20 plus 80 so 16 into 20 is 320 divided by 8, 80 plus 20 is 100 answer is your 3.2 volt answer is b 3.2 volt find the value of vx considering 3 ampere current source 3 ampere when you will consider the 3 ampere so this will be short circuit this will be short circuit this will be open circuit. So now this is this 20 ohm and 80 ohm and 80 ohm are parallel. So you will apply current division rule. Current division rule means 3 ampere current source into opposition resistance is 80 divided by total 80 plus 20. So 3 into 80 is 230 divided by 100. It is 2. Point 2.4 into 20 it is 48 volt answer is D 48 volt find the value of Vx considering 15 ampere current source very important question when you will consider the 15 ampere current source this 10 volt is short circuit this will be open circuit this will be short circuit so this is 15 ampere current this 15 ampere current source the current will flow through this shortest path it will not go to the this 20 ohm resistance because resistance it opposes the flow of current so it will follow the low resistance path means the shortest path so current will flow through this so answer will be your 0 volt Find the value of Vx considering 10 volt source. So when you will consider the 10 volt, so this will be open, this will be open, this will be short. So when you will consider the 10 volt source, 20 ohm and 80 ohm are in series. So you have to calculate this. So 10 volt into 20, it is 200 divided by 20 plus 8, it is 100. 200 by 100 is 2 volt. So answer is B 2 volt. So 
in superposition theorem is well grounded for linear system non linear system both linear and non linear system neither linear or non linear system answer is linear system because superposition theorem is valid only for the linear systems because the effect of a single source cannot be individually calculated in a non linear system so answer will be your linear system next question superposition theorem does not function for current voltage power all of the answer is your power because power across an element is not equal to the power across it due to the all other sources in the system so the power in the element is the product of the total voltage and total current of the element so answer will be superposition theorem does not function for power remember this point it is very important thank you please like share and subscribe my channel